Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Yoga Shalom at home. And happy Rosh Chodesh Elul. It's the new month of the Hebrew month of Elul. Leading into the holy days, the days of Ah. I'm Rev. Cantor Lisa Levine. I'll be your guide into the world of yoga through a Jewish lens. And I missed you all last week because I sort of took uh, a, day, a week off in order to um, in order to go into the studio working on some new music. So I'll be bringing that to you soon. During the month of Elul, we spiritually prepare for the High Holy Day season through self-reflection called Shavadhyaya in yoga in Sanskrit. We recite sacred texts and we engage in Kashbon Hanefesh, an accounting of the spirit. Self-love and self-care is why we are here. We return to our core values and reflect on our treatment of ourselves and others, also known as Ahimsa in Sanskrit. We renew our sacred power for the true calling of our spirits, our Dharma. And these Sanskrit pathways intersect with Yamas and Niyamas and Yoga and the Midot of Musar. All of them intersect to create the balance that we seek today. So showing up here is our first act of reflection. We we'll use our chairs and our mats today, so settle in, find a place of heart opening, quiet the mind, and allow your heart to guide you through this self-reflection time. It said during the month of Elul that we begin with our backs towards each other. And by the end of this time that we have together in these practices, we'll be panim al panim, face to face with one another, with our communities, with ourselves, no hiding. Let's do a quick check in. How are you doing today? Just allow that string to attach from Keter to the source of forgiveness. Allow that forgiveness to begin to flow through from the top of the head all the way down to the feet, connecting with Shekhinah, Mother Earth, with wind, Father Air, or Father Wind, Mother Earth. Begin to untie the knots, peel back the onion of the spirit for the deepest self-knowing that leads us to truth. I'm going to go back to the mat for a moment, to my chair. I'm also going to highlight, just going to spotlight this so that you can see me a little bit better. Dropping the awareness down into the breath. Expand all the love that's in the 
then as you exhale through the nostrils, your wrists, wiggle and get yourself a little flowy. We're gonna see the heart opening. Lisa, yes. The sound to me, I can hardly hear your voice. The music is very loud and you are far away and very that's too really far. weird. Kind of weird. Thank you for letting me know. I don't know if it's happening with other other people is but that I, better uh well yeah now, yeah it's same here yeah Okay, is that better? It was the same here as well. But is when you're better? far away at the chair, we'll find out. Oh, we'll see. I should have my ear pods. Hello, can you hear me now? I'm not sure what's going on here, but let's let's yeah, just... We, we heard you fine, you know, when you were talking at the beginning, but when you moved back into your chair... Yeah, it might be that my ear pods are not picking up the sound. Let me just uh, do that and uh, move my chair a little bit closer. How's this? Okay. I've got a microphone right here, but it should be coming through my ear pods. 
and I really don't know why it's not doing that. Hold on. That's crazy. All right. Okay, folks, we just have to do the best we can, all right? Let's inhale, roll the shoulders back. Looking up, heart open. Inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders forward and bring the hands down towards the knees as you bring chin to chest. Good, inhale, roll back and grab behind and open up the heart center, allow anything to let go and breathe like fully. Inhale, arms up, let's come all the way forward. And you can do all of this stuff in your chair, sitting every day, and you need to connect down. Inhale, all the way up, and all the way back. Grab the back of the chair and just open the arms. As you exhale. Good. Inhale up, and let's just do a gentle bend over to the right. As you exhale, inhale up, both arms up, and gentle bend over the left. Good. Inhale up. One more time forward, all the way forward. Inhale up, and a nice bend over, so one more. And this time, don't drop the arm. Keep both arms raised. Engage the core as you exhale. Inhale up, and engage the core. Open the heart center, release. Inhale up, and arms open and down. Let's do some big circles. Open. We're going to continue the circling in a moment, but let's just start a circle, gathering that sense of openness, open-hearted forgiveness. What is it that you need for yourself today? Inhale, gather that up into the hands, reflect as you do a nice, easy twist behind. Inhale up. And twist the hands. Good. And my heart. And one more twist behind. And then this time, oh, lift the right leg. Inhale up. And twist behind. And lift the left leg. This is excellent when you're traveling or you're sitting at the computer. Just keep doing these twists back and forth. Inhale up. And connect all the way down with the Shekinah, with the mother. Where have you hit the mark? Where have you missed the mark? Inhale up. So many questions we have to ask ourselves in the month of El. What makes me happy? What brings me joy? Inhale, what brings, bring that joy and that happiness into the hands and all the way down into heart center. And release. What's my purpose? Why am I here? What do I want to spend more time doing? What matters most? to me. Well, let's create the a little bit of a force field of discernment today. So let's start with some circles. Nice and easy. And let's just bring the hips. Open up the hips with the ashram. What are you most grateful for? And what are the things you might be able to let go of if they're weighing you down? This is the time to do that Heshbon Anefesh and create space to discern. Good. So do three in one direction, three in the other direction. And then just begin 
with the arms all the way around, just as available as you are to that. Inhale, up, and as you exhale, just gather that sense of gratitude. Inhale, and then go in the opposite direction. See how the energy changes. And it's almost as though you're gathering that gratitude all around you. And if you feel any negative mojo or energy, just let that go. Just, or you let that out through the arms. So let's just do some big arm circles today. I've been feeling this circling really strongly in the arms. And let's go the other direction. Mm. I love it. And then let's gather all that energy in a couple times. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Now go the opposite direction and expel any negative energy that you have. Just push it away. Those might be the things that you want to spend some time contemplating or praying about to let go for this season. I'd like us to warm up our legs a little, our hips a little bit. I do this in a chair all the time. So let's circle the right hip. I usually either grab in front or under, depends. Go in either direction. Loosening up that hip. Inhale, press the foot out. And point. Exhale. Inhale, lift the left arm. And as you exhale, forward fold. You can grab the toe fine or you just want to come to the calf and drop the chin. And release. Good. You should notice a difference in the hips as you're sitting. Now let's do the left leg. So just some little circles. Waking up the pelvis before we stand and then in the opposite direction. I try to keep my pelvis steady for this so I can really feel the hip socket open. And now flex that foot out. Inhale, exhale, and release. Inhale, lift the right arm and fold forward. And drop in chin to chest. Inhale and release. You're going to notice a difference when we do this at the end of our practice because it's going to change as we open up the hips and we're ready to stand. I'm going to keep my chair forward so you can, so you can hear me. I don't really need the mat today anyway. I'm going to move it this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm using the back of the chair, but you can remain seated if you wish. So we're going to allow ourselves to let go of control. Just realizing that we're not in control can somehow and some way allow us to let go of things in our lives that are, that are really bothering us. So inhale, exhale, and just bend the knees outward. Feel the hips beginning to open, the heart beginning to open, and then you come up nice and easy. Inhale one more time. If you can go down a little bit more, my hips have been really giving me issues, so I want to come all the way into a wide legged. And here, there you go. Everybody looks great. And then step into the feet and push up. So you're engaging the floor. Good. Let's praise the goddess. Inhale. Exhale and open the heart. Elbows are wide. And praise the God. Inhale. And exhale. Send that praise out into the universe. Indeed, that you are experiencing today. Over. 
inhale, exhale, open heart, and elbows are wide, open to returning to what is most important to you. And then as the Bahu, as our praise comes in, I'm just going to come all the way down. Now you can just use your chair, but I'm going to come all the way down and drop my shoulders towards the shifting of the earth and grounding. We say a blessing to the earth, the water, and the soil of the planet, and all of the things that we should do to the earth. And then just allow the burdens that you hear the wind to drop away from your shoulders, and then slowly hinge up leading with the crown of the head, coming all the way up, nice tall spine, inhale, exhale, open the heart, arms are wide as you exhale, all the way down, inhale, and then exhale, send that star pose out, maybe some forgiveness out there for someone who's hurt you, someone who's hurt you. Inhale, exhale, one more time, one more strong practice. And if you need the chair, absolutely use it as you exhale. Inhale, exhale, come up. And then bring yourself into Tadasana, Mountain Pose, with hands forward. Feel the energy coursing through the body. Feel the opening of the heart and the hands. And release. Well, we're going to do a standing sun salutation, but I'm going to use the chair as a prop. And I love doing this because I work with older adults and they're like in their 80s and they don't like to get down on the floor. And it's great for when you're at the computer at work or even on the airplane and went all the way to the back and just <laughs> this. It's, it's really good. So let's do this uh, sun salve. I'm starting in Tadasana but with hands in prayer pose. Inhale and exhale all the way down, fingertips to the floor or hands to the back of the chair. Inhale, if you want to do your regular sun salutation, feel free to do that. Half back and then bring your hands to the chair. And as you exhale, step the right and left foot back and come into downward facing dog and lift the chair on the Good. Inhale, exhale, and then we're going to just bring our hips towards the chair for upward dog. Or if you're on the mat, go all the way down into cobra. Inhale, exhale, all the way down into downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lift the left leg. And as you exhale, draw the knee into the chest and just place it down. Good. Inhale. And as you exhale, balance right up onto the left leg and bring the arms forward. If you're on your mat, this is Virabhadrasana 3. Lift the left leg up a little bit higher you can. Good. Grab the chair, come all the way down. Straighten the front knee and bring the head down. Stretch out that front leg. Exhale. Inhale, bring the left foot back to meet the right. Downward facing dog one more time. Inhale, step forward. Arms up, reverse forward line. And then let's do the other side. It's a pretty strong practice with the chair. Inhale. Exhale all the way down. Fingertips to the floor. Inhale, flat back. And as you exhale, step the right foot back and then the left. Downward facing dog with the chair. Inhale, shift the hip 
steps forward or go down onto the mat and do Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale. Inhale back into downward facing dog with the right leg behind you. And as you exhale, draw that knee in and place it between your hands or in the chair. Good. Inhale, exhale, push forward, balance in. Here to draw some three, four, three, three. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg down, and then straighten both knees and bend forward, stretching out the back leg. Good. Bring the right foot to meet the left, left downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, step forward. Hands all the way up. And Shake it out. That was excellent. All right. Now it's time for our sankalpa, our intention, our kavana, our prayer. This is where we really take a deep dive into what is it that we are, where did we meet the mark? Perhaps this year, where did we miss the mark? We sit down in our chair pose and we study a little bit of ourselves. So let's bring hands into pre hip creases. Inhale, exhale, and just sit right back into the chair. And look, bring your hands out. And take a look at where you did good this year. What was successful for you? Maybe that's the blessing you want to bring into the year to come. Really get specific about what it is that means most to you. And then step into the feet and shake it out. And you can do this absolutely just sitting in the chair too. Just be sure to sit forward on the chair a little bit. So let's go down one more time. Inhale, exhale, sit right back down. And this time, let's push away anything that we miss. Push away. Some behavior, personality trait that's not serving you. I know what mine is. Pushing it away right now. Push, 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 and breathe. Doesn't mean it's not going to come in, but you can be more aware of it. Inhale, step into the feet. Oh boy, I feel that today. And shake them out. We're gonna do one more, just one-legged. So come on to the right leg and bring the left ankle onto the knee. Come down, stretch out that hip. I've got my chair so it's easier. Bring the hands into Anjali Mudra. Or if you'd like to, Vajra Mudra. Grasp the fingers, tips together, and press forward. Where did you put the mark? Yoga 
Inhale, wow. The month of Elul also known in Hebrew Kabbalah, Ani Lagodi, Lagodi Me, the love, the month of love, some love. So let's go into our triangle pose. Let's step, I'm going to speak up so you can hear me. Step the left foot out to the wall. Toes are towards the wall. Now inhale, exhale, and swing that right hip open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, lean way over that standing leg. And then lift the right arm. Gazing at the thumbnail or down at the toenail. This is your choice. Ah, oh God, the love, the love pouring into the heart center. Inhale, exhale, bring the back hand to the back thigh, the left thigh over. Reach way out, come into Chukrasana, triangle. Straight up to communication. Inhale, exhale, back hand, back side, overhead. Okay, let's go to the other side. Right toes to the wall, left toes again. Inhale, exhale, the left hip open. Inhale, arms up, turn this way. Inhale, scooch way over that standing leg and then bring the left arm up. Stretch it up, gaze with the thumb down. Bring toes together, hands on heart, eyes closed. One recitation of shh. Grab the chair and we will start some balances. Holy, holy, holy. What is it that's most important? What is holiest in your life? Do you want to spend more time doing it? We'll pray on that as we bring these balances into our lives. So let's bring all the weight on to all the way down to the right leg again. And imagine that your leg is eight spine, the root of a tree. And just when you feel ready and you've got your drishti, which is a point in front of you, bring your knee into your hands. And then inhale and open the knee out to the side.
feels a leg lifted, foot connected with Shafina, spine lifted. Inhale, exhale, bring the knee out to the side. And if you can, lift the opposite arm. Looking up is really hard, but if you can do that, I can do it, but not on hard. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a star balance, one of my favorite things to do. I do this all the time with my students. So um, let's come to the side of the chair or the mat, doesn't matter. It's a lot easier to do with the chair. <laughs> I'm going to inhale, exhale, and just bring the hand down to the chair and lift it. It works completely different muscles. My toes are pointed forward. My hand is lifted and extended upward. My heart is open to that energy of forgiveness, awareness, self-love, returning to it. And then you just come down and shake that. And then I, I always go to the other side of the chair. This is sort of the half moon pose, but with the, with the support, which is really nice to get started with it. Maybe next week we'll try half moon. Inhale, exhale, bring the hand down, lift the leg and the arm all the way up. Supporting star pose. Toes are forward. Extend through the hand, looking up. real quick. Hands together and bring your hand into Vajra Mudra. Fingertips stretching up. Inhale three times up on the toes. Adosh, 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 for holiness. Exhale and allow everything to go. Let's do that force field of forgiveness all the way around us. Forgiving yourself Persons ourselves is sometimes the hardest thing to do. Let's make that something that we strive for. Just keep going all the way down, all the way down. Stretch it out. We're going to do some stretches on the mat, but today I'm just going to use my chair. So I'm going to show you how to do some of these pretty easy. But you can be on the mat if you want to. So we're going to come into tabletop, but notice that I'm using the front of the chair, not the back of the chair. So my my back can be pretty pretty straight, it's pretty similar because I'm not on my knees. But if you want to be on your knees, it feels. So let's come into tabletop. Inhale and exhale, and just lift the tail, lift the eyes. And then as you exhale around the back, if you need to bring your feet in a little bit, feel free to do that. Inhale, lift the tail. Keep those hips parallel to the floor. 
So bring, bring the heel onto the chair and straighten the leg. Inhale, exhale, and then just bend that knee and push forward. Bend the arms. Inhale, exhale. Chin to knee, bend forward. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Just a nice, easy stretch into the chair and if you want to bring your hands forward. This is a great stretch. And we'll push forward, then we're going to do our memory song. So just stretch forward into the chair and bring your hands forward. Inhale, exhale, straighten that knee. Forward, arms forward, stretch out that back hip, back jack. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Chin to knee. Bring someone to mind for a Kaddish prayer today. Someone that you're remembering from your school or during this month of Elul is the time of your school. So please bring their names into your hearts. And as we lift our legs, we'll go into an inversion of any cloud. Allow the names to go into the sides. Just allow. Any grief that you might be feeling to flow out through the legs, out through the feet. Release these painful, painful memories. And as you inhale, replace them with good memories. People who you wish to honor today. Thank you. 
Inhale, exhale, come up and flex and you just bring more energy to the left ankle. Stretch the hips. And just rock from side to side, allow the stress that you might be holding in the hip. Breathe, regret, guilt. Is it a time of guilt? Maybe. Stretch your feet out onto the mat, hands up to the sides. Shavasana, letting go. Close the eyes, allow the breath to be shallow if that's what you need to do, or allow yourself to witness the breath continuing its deep flow into the lower lungs, upper lungs, and as you exhale, release, completely relaxing down into your relaxation cocoon. I'm going to come up and lead you through from here so you can hear me. So allow everything to go, just to release down. Mm, imagine that you are lying in a beautiful field of heather. It's very soft and cool, forgiving. Just gives you the perfect base for relaxation. And the sun is warm on the front of the body. You can feel it. radiating down onto the legs and the arms, the heart. And there's some shade over the face so you feel a cool breeze washing away the errors of the past year and shining down all of the possibilities of the year to come. takes away all of the anxiety, fear, stress that you may have. And the sun warms the limbs. Your arms are heavy. Hands and the thumbs feel very loose. The sun is warming the center of your heart, Halev. Ahava, yud he vav he Elul, creating a sense of protection and wholeness, a certainty that with each pump, nekavim, nekavim, halulim, halulim, we are certain that the oxygen will reach every vein, every artery, every cell bringing healing and renewal, revitalization and love. And that sun is warming the legs, saying a blessing all the way down to the feet for bringing us to our mats today, our Mishkan, our holy returning place. Safe space where we can return any time we wish throughout our day, our week, our month, our year. Sensing that shalom, peace. 
permeating our spirits, our shechina, shefa, ahava. Wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, deepening breath, gather the knees into the heart center, roll on to the right side, making a pillow of the arms, letting anything go. Slowly push yourself up to seated. And come back to our healing circle. We're just about out of time. So I'd like to end our practice today with two recitations of Shalom, which I often do with my classes. So it's a deep inhale. Shalom. One more. Inhale. Thank you for spending this hour of renewal, of self-reflection for the month of Elul. I honor the light within all of us and send you Pralamba blessings for a sweet new year and an Elul filled with self-reflection and Cheshbon HaNefesh. Namaste.